Yep, it's still winter time and we're still getting snow. Hey, good morning folks. Darren from Dan Auto Sales. Happy Saturday to you. It's time for a what's in the shop update. So I figured we'll take a quick tour and I'll show you kind of what the guy's been up to. Hope you're joining Saturday. I'm happy I don't have to plow because there's not enough snow to plow, but just enough to be make sure that they know it's winter time. So let's uh, let's start off with uh, with this one here, 1983 Chevy Travel Craft. Uh, oddball about this one, it's a 6.2 diesel. Kind of hard to find uh, in a diesel, but this one, um, the mechanics are done on it. We need to do some outside work, but this one we're calling Rock's Van. Why are we calling it Rock's Van? Hey, I'll show you. Call it Rock's Van. Because you don't have to turn on a red light. How's that for groovy? This whole thing is groovy. Super clean inside. Uh, a lot of the work's done inside. We still got to go through some of the systems. Uh, Bruce did all brand new drawers, hardware, stuff like that. But it's definitely got a uh, 70s, 80s vibe going to it. But real clean inside. Should be kind of cool when it's done. We did put a microwave in it. That was just an empty area up there, perfect for a microwave. But uh, not too big, like the other travel crafts that we've done, been 24, 26 foot. This one's only about 23. Uh, so it's a good size, class B plus, and having a diesel is kind of cool as well. Speaking of diesels, here's an oddball. We've had this one for a while, just kind of tinkering with it. Um, this is a 1978 Dodge Explorer. So it doesn't have a very high top on it, but they dropped the floor on this so you can still stand up in the in the center part. The oddball thing about this one is that someone put in a Nissan six-cylinder diesel. Non-turbo, pretty gutless, but it runs and drives good. We got all the mechanics done on this. Um, so just kind of a rare, a rare one that we got to do the interior as well. But um, really, uh, for, uh, excuse me, Dodge used this diesel motor in their pickups and for one year like in 1978 so we think it came out of one of the pickups and someone put it in this thing so kind of cool definitely a cool vintage look uh, next one the guys been working on is coachman Sean's done a bunch of work on this one 1988 Ford uh, new head gaskets all the mechanicals are done on it now super solid body on it peak on the inside uh, Bruce did some work on the back. I'll show you what he did on that. Just your normal uh, layout with a jackknife couch. And then, of course, the bunk up top that folds out. All the normal stuff, refrigerators, stuff like that. So in the back, on the back of these things, uh, they put in a, uh, a sit-down tub, which sort of works and sort of doesn't. Usually ends up being used for storage. So someone took that tub out. It usually sits right here and just put a piece of board on the top of it. So we took it and made it storage. So now there's a nice storage area in there. The plumbing was still in here for the tub. So we installed an outside shower. So now you can actually use it for an outside shower, put a shower enclosure out here, you know, wipe your feet off when you're done, wash your dogs off or whatever. So it just made it functional. You see, you still got good cold running hot water back here and then on this side we made this a storage area as well because that was just an empty void full of nothingness so it's coming along good but just a nice solid body it's so rust free all the stripes are there we haven't buffed this out or cleaned it up yet uh, should be kind of cool and this one here, we just got out of Texas. We just rolled in the shop for the first time yesterday. Just doing a quick checkout on it. 1988 Ford Sportsmobile. And it's still dirty from sitting. It's been sitting a while. It's got bad gas in it. Um, but uh, it's got a rust-free body on it. Kind of a cool layout on the inside. Of course, with the pop top. So a bed in the back. That's kind of open right here. This area is, so we're deciding what to do with that. Probably have uh, Bruce build something for that area. But overall, just a good, clean, cool-looking van. 
and I've always, I don't know, I always liked this body style. Got new tires on it, got a bunch of mechanic work done on it, but should be kind of cool. Now, this one, this is a big challenge for us. Uh, we don't do this very often, but uh, this is a 1998 uh, Ford Great West with a pop top on it. Half ton, 170, so it's a short one. The problem with this one is it, it survived Hurricane Ian down in Florida, and it's a flood vehicle. So if you look right here, water line, WL, that's how deep this was in water. But we figured it's too cool not to save, so we're gonna save it. We've, uh, we've already done a bunch of work on it. We've got it mechanically running, uh, running and driving now. Interior cleaned out. And then we're going to go through all the systems and but just kind of it's kind of got a, a Volkswagen Westy feel. It's a, sort of a Westy type of layout with a little pop top up top. So this one will have a, a flood rebuilt title once we get it all done and inspected by the state. But kind of a rare one. You don't see these very often. And one you can drive anywhere. It'll get, you know, 18 miles to the gallon because it's just a half ton. Doesn't have the big top on it. Uh, this one here, we just got this one in uh, last week. This is a 89 Chevy Turtle Top on the G20 chassis. 170, so it's a short one as well. More of a weekender. Super clean inside and outside. No rust. So here, just... Four captain's chairs, we took uh, we took this one out so that we can work on it and get in and out easier. But you got that that folds into a bed, little kitchenette there, refrigerator, stove, sink. And then there'll be a, a porta potty in the back as well. See a porta potty there. So we're going through and we're putting all the LED lights in it and checking out all the systems. Not sure what we're going to do with that TV up there. It's got the old school TV way up there. So, so yeah, that one that would be nice. Um, doesn't have 120,000 miles on it, so it uh, runs and drives good. Now the back of the shop, uh, our Sportsmobile 92 Dodge Sportsmobile that uh, was advertised online. This one just sold yesterday. Um, have a couple um, coming from. Um, oh, I just lost it. I lost it. Um, yeah, they're coming from out of the states, and it'll come to me in a minute. But they're coming in May to pick this up, and they're going to drive it to Alaska and start their American trips. So that'll be kind of cool. Not, 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 it's not England. Why am I drawing a blank on that? Anyways, that's uh, part of getting old, folks. It's going to happen. Uh, then the Shasta, 81 Shasta the guy's been working on. Really cool old unit. Um, I don't normally buy Class C's, but I'm a Ford truck guy, and, and I've always watched these things. And uh, this one came about north of us, about uh, three hours north, and uh, it was just cool, so we picked it up. Uh, it's just about done. Come on inside. Guys have done a bunch of work to it. There we go. There we go. So we're waiting on the cushions. The cushions are coming back from the upholsterer. Uh, these should be back for us Monday night, but uh, all new flooring, bunch of new paint, bunch of new equipment. Uh, this this was a cupboard up here that was nothing was there, no door, so we built in a microwave up here because it didn't have a microwave. A little, uh, little wet bath in there, new roof vent, and then these cushions are coming back too, hopefully next week shortly. And then we can get it up for sale. But it turned out really cool. Um, six cylinder, 306 cylinder with a four speed manual transmission. Bulletproof setup. These, uh, my line always on these 300 Ford six cylinders is arguably the Ford's best motors. And I say they're, they last forever because they don't have enough power to blow themselves up. So this one runs great. We did a bunch of mechanical work on this thing too. So, all right. Well, there's a there's a quick uh, walk around the shop. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a happy weekend, and we'll see you soon.